fucking wolves, man. They're like top of the food chain around here. No animal's gonna mess with them. So what the fuck? Like I said, it's fucked. Yes, Jess, we get it. You like saying fuck a lot. You drop more F-bombs than Revy from Black Lagoon. But in any case, greetings everyone. This is Potato Hedgehog and welcome back to Far Cry 5. Last time, we defeated Faith Seed and got this pretty sweet looking double barreled sawed off shotgun. Oh, and also, cultists are still around, even though I set one on fire. You set one on fire, but that don't mean shit, Potato. Right. Oh, and also, we have incendiary shells in the shotgun because I forgot that you can have special ammo if you have the black market perk. Hmm. Back in Hope County, I see, darling. <laughs> Haruka-sama! It's been a while since I've seen you on camera. Yes, I've just been down in the lab and... Um... Darling? You might want to take a look at this. Oh, god damn it! So, yeah, that's an issue! Don't you worry, lover boy. I can take care of this. Leafy! Come here! Yes, mommy? Get him! <laughs> um... Nico? The fuck? Let me explain, Potato Darling. I found this little seedling outside today. He was just so cute. So I decided to take him in, and, uh, he apparently shoots lasers. Ain't that a hoot? Nico? Yes? Have I mentioned that you're amazing? You could stand to do it more often, lover boy. Love ya. You too. Oh god, the potato harem! It expands! That it does. Hopefully Miss Nico won't be too much of an issue. Right. I also have a shovel. Um, um, p potato senpai? Um, may I, may I use that shovel? Um, Medi? You all right? Um, j just trying to resist my urge to dig. <laughs> oh God, Potato, you triggered Medi. What do you mean I triggered Medi? Um, oh, and Medi, um, I suppose you can use the shovel to dig into somebody if I have the ch if you have the chance. Um, yes, Potato Senpai. Boom. Nice shot! Double oh my god! <laughs> Did I do it by Potato Senpai? Um, Mitty, get that guy over there! Yeah! Ow! I got fucked. By a vehicle. Help! Somebody help! PJs! You brought me back to life! Good kitty! Good peaches! How do you suppose peaches brought you back from the brink? By licking me, possibly? Because that's what cats do. Depends on what kind of cat you're talking about. Yeah! Oh! Oh! That guy got royally fucked! Yeah. Nice job, Jess! Eli is pretty relaxed about all this. Now mind you, I did not do that. Jess set the guy on fire, and then a truck randomly came out of nowhere and just fucked him up! Petito Senpai! There's one more! Aw, oh, you missed, Medi. Try it again. Right! Oh, and Peaches got the last one. Good job, Peaches! Fucking cultists. That's not all of them! Oh, wait. 
No, that was just a civilian. I thought it was a cultist. Fucking Doomsday cult. Suck my ass. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. I stopped trying to decipher that shit from day one. Anyway, what are we doing in this episode, Potato? Oh, and we also got a parachute. Um, I think we're doing a side mission involving one of the one of the guns for hire. Herc Drubman, I think his name is. Didn't he start appearing in Far Cry 3? Yeah, he started appearing in Far Cry 3, and he's stuck with the series as long as, um, that Willis guy, the CIA agent. So, Moshi, Phantom Ruby, if you would. Sure thing. And here we are, Drubman Manor. Not to be confused with the Drubman Marina, where there's a hungry cougar. You mean aside, aside from the one on your team? But that's a good cougar. Like Hello, Mr. Drubman. Let's get to the point. You see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying? That's my loin fruit, Hurt Jr. Dumber than a coal bucket. He takes after his mama. Stupid some bitch went and lost my campaign truck, Nancy. So named after the greatest first lady to ever serve this fine country, of course. If them Obama-loving libtards find out I can't look after my own property, I can kiss this Senate run goodbye. Now, seeing as you're on my land, and I didn't kill you, even though it's well within my rights as a red-blooded American gun owner, I say you owe me. Help numbnuts get my truck back so I can start focusing on my campaign again. Junior! Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make a disclaimer right now. I am not political in any sense of the word. But there's something about this motherfucker I don't like. And, um, I didn't aim a shovel at you, sir. That was Medi. Um, sorry. I don't mean anything by this shovel assault. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you to your own devices. Oi, Herc, why did you do that? He called you a steaming pile of disappointment. I mean, I don't mean no disrespect. I just call all my homies dude or bro or man, you know, regardless of vegetalia or penile ness ness. Whoa, deja voodoo, man. Have, have we have we met before? Dang, man, my prayers have been answered. I got a direct line to that sweet little monkey god whose heart hangs in heaven. Well, I guess since you're an angel working here on Earth, the Monkey King, that you already know I gotta get my daddy's truck back. I mean, he's real butt sore. But if we get it back, he'll let me sleep in my bed again. And I gotta tell you, man, it's getting real cold outside. Never mind them wood ticks crawling all up in my junk, threatening me with Lyme disease and whatnot. So come on, man. Help me get my daddy's truck back. Let's make dust before the old man starts shooting. He's hotter than a ghost pepper these days. Santa Run's been real stressful on him, man. He ain't cut out for that shit. You know how busy he is? Doesn't even have time to cut out for a shit. Herc, you have more of a motor mouth than Moshi, and that's saying something. I'm right here, and I don't have a motor mouth. That boy talks too much. You know what I mean? The irony. Then, <laughs> then, they start listing off all their dang rules, man. They'll fornicate, 
Turns out that means fuck. No, no alcohol and no wild out and partying, man. No thank you. So I got the fuckity fuck 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 out of there, man. Unfortunately, though, I forgot my daddy's truck. He's been real butt sore since, so gotta get that truck. You don't gotta worry about a thing, man. I got a nine-step plan to get in this truck, man. Step one, catch a day buzz off party liquor. He's got that one covered, homie. Step two, pray for someone else to solve my problem. Done. Step three is... Oh, uh, shit. Should I forget the rest, but... They'll come to me as soon as, soon as we go. Dang, you are a good listener, Boba Fett. Oh, man doesn't listen at all. I guess that's why I never feel hurt. Me and him, we ain't getting along that well, lately. Ever since he started running for office, he's been coming down on me real hard about everything. About my public intoxication, how I handle my firearms, stuff like that. But when we get his truck back from them Peggy's, he's gonna be real impressed, dude. He's gonna love me so much, and then my mom's gonna have to try and love me more so she can compete with how much he loves me, and then he'll see how much she's loving me, and then he'll try and love me even more, and then birthdays and Christmases, they're gonna be off the chain. Dear Lord, Herc never shuts up. I'm sorry for being silent during that, but, uh... This is the place. It's hard to commentate over a commentator that doesn't stop commentating, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Wait, gun for hire temporarily on a bit. What the fuck? Where are Jess and Pete is? I refuse to do this without them. You know, Potato Darling, I could shut him up. I do got Leafy right here. Mommy! That is an adorable little seedling that hopefully doesn't get us copyrighted by EA. Oh, nah, Potato, they're not Konami. Oh, there's Peaches and Jess. I was wondering where the fuck they were. And they just said I couldn't use my guns for hire for some reason. Peaches! Alright. Time to stealth these motherfuckers. Too bad you can't have three guns for hire because I think I've heard Herc is good with explosives. At least that's what I've heard. Then again, I don't trust this dumbass with a ten foot mortar. Right. Alright. Hopefully they can do this without getting detected. Because there's a lot of cultists in there. And I mean a lot of them. Why can't you just take a rocket launcher and blow them all up? Because all Jess there. and Peaches are still in there. That's not a lot of cultists, Potato. I mean, come on now. Oh my lord. Did you tell Herc to do that? No, I did not. He just started firing randomly. Good lord, man! Calm your shit! Alright, fuck it, I'm going in there. Apparently, I have to solve their problems for them. Alright, fine. With my gold-plated shotgun, a bottle of whiskey... Oh, good shit. And with a strong will, I... Okay, I'm here. I didn't even need to do anything. Yo, Herc! Get your ass over here, man! This motherfucking dumbass. Come here, Peaches. Good kitty. And Jess has nothing to say, as usual. I think our brain cells are damaged. Look into those he dead eyes staring back into your soul. Phantom Ruby. Hey, yo. Peaches. You appreciate that cat more than you appreciate anything else. Because it's the cat. What? What the fuck is this? That's the second time this has happened, where I've completely failed a mission out of completely impossible odds. But fuck it. It was a pretty good way to go out, not gonna lie. Wait, what about Peaches? She can't ride in the car with you, Potato. 
Them's the rules! Oh, and if you were wondering why Herc's car well, if you were wondering why the dumbass, the dumbass person's truck blew up, oh, Peaches is running right beside us. Anyway, if you were wondering why the truck blew up, it's because a cultist hit it with enough damage to make it explode. So that's why that happened. And now we are making a. We're making a Hail Mary dash back to the Drubman estate so we can drop the dumbass person's truck off. And apparently we have mounted gun. Apparently we have mounted gun. We are going to shoot bad guys now. Oh, we made a guy wipe out and the PS4 skipped ahead again. I really hate it when my footage does that. It like skips ahead out of nowhere in the footage. Herc! What the fuck are you doing, man? Herc, I'm gonna need you to... I'm gonna need you to pick up the pace because there's a FIRE! Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now we can get back on track. Don't make me shoot your ass. Maybe you'll learn how to drive. Is this why you don't drive many vehicles in the game, Potato? Well, I suck at driving, yes, but the AI does it much worse. Oh, and by the way, Potato, helicopter! Where? I don't see no goddamn helicopter. Oh, shit. Well, well, it's not much of an issue anymore, because I just shot it out of the fucking air. Your point is invalid, Moshi. Well played. But can you get back to the Drubman estate without dying horribly? Well, I almost died. And remember, I almost died during that one bit. But, thanks to Peaches licking me, I survived. The holy saliva of a Peaches in heat. Wait, what? Oops. Right. Alright. I think we're in the clear. Or are we? Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Alright, character voiced by John DiMaggio, I think. What do you have to say now? You know, I did some thinking while you were gone. This whole Senate run is too much for me to handle on my own. I'm in need of a campaign manager, and you're just the kind of go-getter I need to get my ass in office. First task I've got is to take Junior with you wherever you go, so I don't have to hear him praying to that goddamn monkey king no more. Second task is, uh, well... Uh, let me think on it a bit. I'll get back to you. Yeah, sure, whatever. At least we're done here. Yay! And I also realized I was playing Devil Trigger during that entire sequence. Hopefully that won't get me hit with copyright. Come here, yay! Uh oh. Potato, I think you've gotten the attention of John Seed. Well, not John Jacob. Derp. Okay, that was ominous. Dutch, help. I am being hunted. But there's no time for that. We've done what we can in this episode, and I am running anyway. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Far Cry 5, please leave a like and a comment to let me know, and I will see you guys in the next part. Till then, ladies and gentlemen, I am running. See ya.